If you want to know what your North Node means by sign and house, that's what we're covering today. We're going to talk about the differences and why this can be so confusing. For those who don't know, the North Node is the point that represents your, your life lesson. Some people call it your purpose in your astrology chart. Basically, these evolutionary lessons of your soul that you're here to learn and develop. Now, people read the North Node by sign. They also read it by house, just like all the other planets. And this is what trips people up because sometimes the sign on their north node is maybe opposite the house or has such a different meaning than the house that they don't know how to apply it. So I'm going to teach you how to do this in this video. Uh, so here's what you need to know. And this is from Stephen Forrest's book. The planet is what, the sign is how, the house is where. The planet is what, in this case, we're not talking about a planet, we're talking about a point, but it's still holds true that the North Node is the lessons, okay? The lessons to embody, the things to learn. The the house, or sorry, the sign is how. So how do you follow your North Node? By acting like that sign. And where do you apply these lessons? What area of life? The house that your North Node is in. So I'm going to start with my own and I'll give a couple other examples of how you do this. Uh, so mine in Placidus, North Node in Taurus in the eighth house if you use the modern astrology way of doing this, equating signs versus houses, this is going to be confusing because you're going to say, oh, I need to follow my North Node in Taurus and do the Taurus things of being stable, independent, and enjoying my life. But then I'm also supposed to just do the Scorpio things of taking risks, merging with others, and trusting people. That doesn't, those don't work together. They're kind of opposites. So what you do is you take the planet is what? Lessons. The sign is how. So lessons, how do you embody Taurus lessons? Well, you enjoy the senses. You work hard for your own money and spend it on yourself and spend it on the things you need and invest in the things that are important to you and, and being comfortable to a certain level, uh, that kind of thing. And where? So the house being the eighth house, this is where, this is not what, it's where. So a North Node Taurus needs to have independence and invest in themselves and enjoy the senses in relationships with others. Now, this might feel confusing because you're like, wait, 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 you're supposed to be independent, but it's about being able to maintain your independence in your deepest intimate relationships. So this is one example. There's other ways we could parse this one out and all the other examples. So just know these are little simple teaching examples. They're not going to tell you everything. So let's just take some other examples, some random ones. So let's say you have your North Node in Sagittarius. And let's say it's in the, um, let's say it's in the, oh, I don't know, sixth house. Let's say that. North Node in Sagittarius is, re remember the planet is what the sign is how, the house is where. North node is lessons through Sagittarius. That means learning to trust your intuition, learning to go in depth into things, learning to not have to depend wholly on the facts, learning not to uh, like tell people what they want to hear in the sixth house, where at work with your coworkers or while you are doing your daily chores. Now, now, because Sagittarius is like an in-depth energy, maybe someone with North Node Sag in the sixth, they might um, need to go more in-depth into their daily tasks. Uh, and so if, you'd have to kind of see how does this fit? Does this person skimp out on their tasks and like go like superficially from one to other and do, wash like one dish and then go like... <laughs> I don't know, move the couch cushions and then wash one more dish or something like that. That's one way this could show up. But it can also show up in the need to be of service. North Node Sag in the six is probably really here to learn how to trust their intuition in a way that is useful to other people. Not telling them what they want to hear, but useful to them. And so we can go all around the wheel. So let's do another one. Let's say you have your North Node in Scorpio in the 12th house. The North Node in Scorpio, this is a confusing one because the North Node is about merging with others, trusting, making alliances with powerful people, really connecting deeply to people, mediumship, the other side, learning lessons through doing all of those things, and possibly even doing like the taboo topics of Scorpio, like death or um, 
you know, anything that is not seen, not talked about. But but how do you do that in a 12th house way? Well, you merge with either spiritual, powerful, spiritual people, or you merge with spirit. You create this powerful alliance with your own subconscious mind, possibly spirit guides. I'm thinking of like, um, you know, when you call on the different energies, you call on Pluto or you call on Persephone or you call on these different um, energies. That would be like a North Node Scorpio type thing is to learn to harness your inner power through that solitude And you can also do them separately. So this is another step to understanding your North Node. You can practice your North Node by sign on its own. I have North Node Taurus. I can just watch a sunrise or a sunset sunset, because my ass is not getting up that early. I can just watch a sunset. I could just hold a cup of coffee and drink it and enjoy it. I could just listen to my favorite song. And it doesn't even have to be about the house. And then at other times, I can work on that house, that eighth house of learning when to get out of my comfort zone, learning when to trust, learning how to let it be okay to connect with other people and really stepping into risk in the in an appropriate way, right? Without sacrificing the North Node in Taurus. So let's do one more. Let's do North Node in Capricorn in the fourth house. That's another kind of opposite one. And a lot of people with their North Node in the fourth are going to ask about this because people will say, oh, South Node in the 10th, you're not supposed to have a career. That's nonsense. And anything that simple in astrology usually isn't true. So don't listen to that nonsense. Um, North Node in the fourth house in Capricorn means, so remember the, the planet is what, the sign is how, the house is where. Lessons through Discipline, Capricorn discipline, integrity, keeping your word, making sacrifices in the fourth house of emotional security. So it's about learning what you need to do to be disciplined, to have the right emotional security. So this could be, for example, someone who, um, I don't know, has uh, some insecurities, but if they just do something hard every day, like... Um, something that requires discipline, like a meditation every day, then those insecurities go away. It's about learning. Maybe this person would learn that certain foods affect their emotional state. And by, um, not eating those foods, they feel better. Uh, maybe they would learn North Node and Capricorn is here also to learn how not to care so much about other people's feelings, right? N- learning when not to do that, learning when not to do the cancer thing of wanting to support everyone. So the North Node and Capricorn may n- need to learn how to develop that sternness and that rigidness with their family. Maybe they need to learn how to do that. Maybe they are a softy <laughs> with their, you know, family members or their closest people. North Node in the fourth house by itself is about creating a home, a home in your own skin, a home, a home, like a group of people, a clan, a family, you know, whatever you want to call it, of people that feel like home and a place or a place inside of yourself that feels like home. And with North Node and Capricorn, how? How? You're going to do it in a way of discipline, hard work. You know, you're here to work hard for that thing if your North Node is in Capricorn. And you can even go deeper into your North Node if you understand the planet that's in charge of it. So whatever sign your North Node is in has a planet, and that planet is called the ruler of your North Node. We can look at where that planet is in your chart, what aspects it has to it, what's going on there to find out, you know, what blocks you might have to your purpose, what... um you know, blessings you might have and more clarity on how, what way you can develop those North Node lessons to live out those uh, evolutionary lessons of your soul. And this is actually part of a new service I offer where I go into that. I go in depth into your Pluto polarity point. I go in depth into your ninth house and I go in depth into your midheaven. And that's all we talk about in this reading. So we have time to cover each of those things in super detail. So this is actually, I'm really excited about this one. I know you guys are going to love it. And it's at an introductory rate through the 15th of February. So click the link below to get in on that and get yours. 
If you want to know more about your purpose, your life direction, and where it's all found in the astrology chart. And drop a comment below one thing you've learned about your North Node by sign or by house that's helped you the most. Uh, If you've learned that and it's helped you, it's probably going to help someone else too. So I'd love to see your comments and I will see you guys all in the next video.